This week, I'm breaking down the laser effect from Imagine Dragons music video, Thunder, from the following requests I got from Taran Verma Films. Let's get started. Hey guys, apologies for the delay on this video. Last Sunday was my birthday, so I took some time off for that, which is the reason why I couldn't release this video on Monday. But you're going to get two videos today to catch up on that. If you're new around here, however, I make videos every Monday at 12 p.m. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to keep up to date with all the new videos. So with this effect, I use the Free Saber plugin, which is available via the Video Copilot website. I use this in my lightsaber tutorial, which I'll leave a link to both in the description below and the card in the corner, along with the link to the plugin. Once you download the plugin and install it, open up After Effects and load the video you want to apply the effect to. I'm using this video of my local stadium as filmed by Cardiff Uni. If you watch the music video, you'll see there's a sequence to the light coming in. It starts off with a wide shot for three frames before the first light drops for five frames. Then there are nine frames in between and then the next light drops for three frames this time. And then another nine frames and bam, the last light drops for two frames. So three, five, nine, three, nine, two. That's the sequence. So. Right click and create a new solid. In the effects panel, type Saber and drag and drop this onto it. Now we can start building the light effect. This plugin comes built in with so many different effects. It's worth having a look through. However, I'm just going to select default and change the color to whitish hmm? and the core size to 25 to make it a little thicker. In the comp settings, change the mode to add, which will get rid of the black background and blend it in and move it into position. Once we have this, we can start keyframing the light coming in. In the effect settings, click on the core start stopwatch to start keyframing. On the first frame, make sure the saber is tiny and completely off, off frame. Then move along five frames and bring it down, bring it down to the ground. Then move along nine frames and redo this whole effect. So right click, new solid object, saber effect, change the core, color and keyframe. Then move along another nine frames and do it all again. Once you have all three and the colors you want, we need to make the lights look like they're behind the stadium. Duplicate the video layer, move it to the top, draw a mask around the stadium and this top blackout box. Then feather it out to blend the stadium into the lights. We're not done yet, but you can see there's some movement in the camera. So we need to track these lights in. Open up the track window and select track motion. I'm going to track this light here and hit play. It's a short clip, so it goes really fast. Once it's tracked, right click and create a new null object. In the track window, hit edit target, select the null object and then hit apply. Parent all three lights to this track and you're done. That simple. Now, thanks for the quest. I hope I said your username right. Taran Verma Films. Let me know what you think, guys. And again, apologies for the late video. It was my birthday, which I enjoyed really well, although it rained here, which it always does in Jan. But yeah, I'll see you in the second video of today. Mm -hmm.